The way Norman found the models for his covers interested me very much, especially the, the cover that he did for the Saturday Evening Post, now known as the Golden Rule cover. There were a lot of people in that one, over 30 heads, all kinds of people and nationalities. Where did they come from, Norman? Well, uh, some of them came from Stockbridge, right here in Stockbridge, and others came from Arlington, Vermont. Let's start at the beginning. What made you decide to do the picture, Norman? Well, Tom, I realized that the golden rule was the only common denominator of all religions from the very beginning of time. You know, the golden rule which says, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Those colorful costumes in the picture, Norman, where did they come from? Well, I took a trip around the world and brought back literally boxes of photographs. Uh, I also brought back some of the actual do costumes. Do others as you'd have them do unto you. All men are brothers. This above all must be true. Love your neighbors, help each other, and then the peace we have longed for will come to all men. Once you had the costumes, I suppose you then found the people to put in them? Yes. From around here, Norman? Well, some were visitors and some were students, uh, such as this fellow. He's part Brazilian, part Hungarian, I think. And this Choi, a uh, Korean, uh, he's a student at present at uh, Ohio State University. He's a Japanese student. Uh, I got her at Bennington College in Vermont. And here is a Jewish student. He was taking summer courses at the Indian Hill School. That's a mile or so from here, just up the road. How about the ones that live here all year round? Any of those? Oh, let's see, there's uh, Mr. Lawless. Uh, he's a retired uh, postmaster of Stockbridge, right mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. He made a pretty good uh, rabbi, I think. Uh, by the way, in real life, he's a very devout Catholic. Was that so? Yeah. Now, you see this group. There's a father and mother and child. Uh, they're the Squires family from Arlington, Vermont. Uh, he's a Yankee, and she's Swedish. And they've got, I think, 12 kids. I didn't get them all in the picture, but it's quite a family. <laughs> this little girl here, she's a local girl from Pittsfield, about, oh, it's about 15 miles from here. And her name is Susie Lee. Oh, oh this is uh, Chris Schaefer. He's my very good friend and, and business manager. Uh, boy, was he surprised when he found out he was in the picture. Uh, this little girl lives right here in Stockbridge, just down the road. She is a Lebanese originally. Uh, now uh, our parents are U.S. citizens. A uh, little girl is a daughter of Louis Lamoni. He's for graves. Yeah, he uh, helps me around the studio, and, and he sure would have been mad if I'd left her out of the picture. Oh, this one is uh, from memory. Uh, that's my wife, Mary, and that's my grandson. Everybody likes to get in the act, so models are no problem. Do you still have the sketches you made? Yeah, I have them over here. Would you like to see them? Sure would. Well, come on over. Okay.
Would you say, Norman, that the golden rule cover is sort of typical of your work? Well, I guess not exactly typical. Is it like anything else you've ever done? Well, the four freedoms that I did. You see, whenever there's a big idea that I'm trying to portray, mm -hmm. I always use uh, plain, everyday people mm -hmm. to express the idea. I see.